Hi, welcome to Boogie Woogie Basics. Let's add some embellishments to our Boogie Woogie that we learnt in the last lesson. So, we're going to play something quite similar to what I just did then. Could you hear some differences since the first lesson? Basically, we're starting to add a, a little bit more swing in there, really getting that. And the way we're doing that is with this double, double hit on the little finger. We don't do it all of the time, just... On the, usually on the second time, so... We're playing these chords in the right hand, or this little third. And make sure we're actually playing this time rather than we're actually playing. These are just little things. The more th thirds you can play, the better. It'll sound in boogie with Tell me what you think, Bella. So we could do that walk up, which is, and then we're on to the, we have to do a little jump there because we're probably on the wrong fingering, no matter what we do. So we can actually put that G in if we want. Pretty much the same as the last turn around. Just making sure we hit that. Almost at the same time, but not quite. You could just play like we did before, but it sounds a little bit a little bit simple, a little bit classical, a little bit Mozarty, but we really want to go. dirty in there. Right, so it's so it's good to do the double bass to really bounce into this last part of the turnaround. So these are all counted in the same the same rhythm. If you can reach it, great. It's good to practice the octave because they're really useful in, ba in boogie woogie, particularly if you're doing walking bass lines. But um, um, at the moment, we're just going to play that. Remember to bounce off the little finger. And then just count up. 
then I swap over and put the little finger on. I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't take, twist my arm at all. I just jump. You just have to get used to that. So. That's a double stop, incidentally, that. And really fam really popular at the end of blues licks. Yeah, rather than just going and just holding it. A guitarist so really sort of use this to good effect during guitar solos. what I've been doing there. So actually, I, you see me, I've probably taught you to go up with the left, with the middle finger and, and change over the thumb, but actually a lot of the time I seem to just shift the hand pattern up and go. And why wouldn't you do that? That's equally as useful. I suppose it's smoother. That's really the end of the second tutorial, the second Boogie Woogie Basics tutorial. I don't want to labour it. If you've got it, you've got it. If not, pause the video, rewind it. Um, make sure you take it at your own pace. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here and leave, us, leave a comment down below or hit the thumbs up. All these things will help bring people to the channel. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Boogie Woogie Boss, signing off. Bye.